You are listening to a cassette recording of a channeling session from The Raw Contact, a series of 106 sessions that were conducted between 1981 and 1984 using a form of tuned trance telepathy. Throughout these sessions, a group of entities identified as Ra shared information regarding the Law of One, spiritual evolution, and a variety of esoteric topics through a series of questions and answers. The full text transcript of these recorded sessions can be read for free at lnlresearch.org, where you can also learn more about this audio and its origins. This recording is intended for personal study and is not available for commercial use. Please contact LNL Research if you wish to use this audio in any other way. Forty-six April fifteenth, Ra. Forty-six April fifteenth. We communicate now. Could we please first have an indication of the instrument's condition? Hi. And Ra. This instrument scans at present at extremely low physical energy and is under attack. This will continue for some of your weeks. However, the vital energy of this instrument is gradually restoring its former level. In that case, we better ask you only one question, uh, unless you deem it all right to ask any more questions than that. But the one question that was bothering us, which I got in meditation, may be an inappropriate question, but I feel it my duty to ask it because it is central to the instrument's mental condition and ours. Having to do with the two cats which we were going to take to have worked upon today for teeth cleaning and the small growth removed from Gandalf's leg. I got the impression that there might be a inroad there for the Orion group and was primarily concerned about anything we could do uh, for protection for these two cats. I may be out of line in asking this, but I feel it my duty to ask it. Would you please give me information? all the information you can on that subject. I am Ra. The entity, mind, body, spirit, complex, Gandalf, being harvestable third density is open to the same type of psychic attack to which you yourselves are vulnerable. Therefore, through 
the mechanism of images and dreams it is potentially possible for negative concepts to be offered to this mind, body, spirit complex, thus having possible and deleterious results. The entity Fairchild, though harvestable through investment, does not have the vulnerability to attack in as great an amount due to a lack of the mind complex activity in the distortion of conscious a devotion. For a protection of these entities, we might indicate to a possibilities. Firstly, the a meditation of putting on the armor of light. Secondly, the repetition of short ritual sentences known to this instrument from the establishment which distorts a spiritual oneness for this instrument this instruments knowledge a will a surface this will aid due to the alerting of many a discarnate entities also aware of these original sentences. The meditation is appropriate at the time of the activity on behalf of these entities. The ritual may be repeated with efficacy from this time 
until the a safe return at convenient intervals. I'm not familiar with the ritual sentences. Uh, uh, if the instrument is familiar, you don't need not answer this, but which sentences do you mean? I am Ra. This is correct. Uh, can you tell me something of the little growth on Kandop's leg? What caused it, and uh, if it is danger to him? I am Ra. The cause of such a growth has been previously discussed. The danger to the physical body complex is slight given the lack of repeated stimulus to anger. This time I would uh, ask if uh, we should end the session because of the instrument's low vitality or whether this is irrelevant because of the dedication to this session already. I am Ra. The latter is correct. You may proceed. We shall monitor the vital energy of this instrument. I was just wondering the, if an entity polarizes toward the service to self path. Would the anger have the same physical effect that it affects an entity polarized toward the, the service to others path? Would it also cause cancer or is it just a catalytic effect working uh, in the positively polarized entity? I am Ra. The catalytic mechanisms are dependent not upon the chosen polarity of a mind body spirit complex, but upon the use or purpose to which this catalysis is put. Thus, the 
entity which uses the experience of anger to polarize consciously, positively, or negatively does not experience the bodily catalyst but rather uses the catalyst in mental configuration. Sure that I understand that the uh, let's take some examples. If a an entity polarizing toward the negative path uh, become, becomes angry, let's take the condition where he develops a cancer. What is the principle that for him? I am Ra. We see the thrust of your query and will respond at variance with the specific query if that meets with your approval. Sure. The entity polarizing positively perceives the anger. This entity, if using this catalyst mentally, blesses and loves this anger in itself. It then intensifies this anger consciously in mind alone until the folly of this red ray energy is perceived not as folly in itself but as energy subject to spiritual entropy due to the randomness of energy being used. Positive orientation then provides the will and faith to continue this mentally intense experience of letting the anger be understood, accepted, and 
integrated with the mind body spirit complex the other self which is the object of anger is thus transformed into an object of acceptance, understanding, and accommodation, all being reintegrated using the great energy which anger began. The negatively oriented mind, body, spirit complex will use this anger in a similarly conscious fashion, refusing to accept the undirected or random energy of anger and instead through will and faith funneling this energy into a, a practical means of venting the negative aspect of this emotion so as to obtain control over other self or otherwise control the situation causing anger. Control is the key to negatively polarized use of catalyst. Acceptance is the key to positively polarized use of catalyst between these polarities lies the potential for this random and undirected energy creating a, a bodily complex analog of what you call the cancerous a growth of tissue that as I understand it, you're saying that if the positively polarizing entity fails to accept the other self, or if the negatively polarizing entity fails to control the other self, either of these conditions will cause cancer. Possibly. 
Is this correct? I am Ra. This is partially correct. The first acceptance or control depending upon polarity is of the self. Anger is one of many things to be accepted and loved as a part of self or controlled as a part of self. If the entity is to do work. Then are you saying that if a negatively polarized or polarizing entity is unable to control his own anger, or unable to control himself in anger, that he may cause cancer. Is this correct? I am Ra. This is quite correct. The negative polarization contains a great requirement for control and repression. A repression of what? I am Ra. Any mind complex distortion which you may call emotional which is of itself disorganized needs in order to be useful to the negatively oriented entity to be repressed and then brought to the surface in an organized use. Thus you may find for instance a negatively polarized entities controlling and repressing such a basic bodily complex needs as the sexual desire in order that in the practice thereof the will may be used to enforce itself upon the other self with a greater efficiency when the sexual behavior is allowed. Then the positively oriented 
entity rather than attempting repression of emotion would balance the emotion uh, as stated in an earlier contact. Is this correct? I am Ra. This is correct and illustrates the path of unity. Then cancer is a training catalyst operating for both polarities in approximately the same way, but creating, attempting, let's say, to create polarization both in both directions, positive and negative, depending on the orientation of the entity experiencing the catalyst. Is this correct? I am Ra. This is incorrect in that catalyst is unconscious and does not work with intelligence, but rather is part of the, shall we say, a mechanism of learn teaching set up by the sub logos before the beginning of your space time. How does cancer do this learning teaching when the entity has no, has no conscious idea of what is happening to him when he develops cancer? I am wrong. In many cases, catalyst is not used. What is the plan for use of the catalyst of cancer? I the catalyst and all catalyst is designed to offer experience. This experience in your density may be loved and accepted or it may be controlled. These are the two paths. When neither path is chosen, the catalyst fails in its design and the entity proceeds until catalyst strikes it 
which causes it to form a bias towards acceptance and love or separation and control. There is no lack of space time in which this catalyst may work. I'm assuming that the sub-logos or the logos plan is for positively and negatively polarized social memory complexes in fourth density and above. Can you tell me the purpose of the plan for these two types of social memory complexes with respect, shall we say, to Coulomb's law or negative and positive electrical polarity or any way you can? I am Ra. This instrument grows a weary. We shall speak with you again. We may indicate the possibility without further harm to this instrument of approximately two sessions per your a weekly period until these weeks of a potential for attack and presence of a very low physical energy are past. May we say it is good to be with this a group. We appreciate your fidelity. Are there any brief queries before the end of this work time? Only if there's anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact. I am Ra. Each is supporting the instrument well, and the instrument remains steady in its purpose. You are conscientious, all is well. We award you where of any laxity regarding the arrangement and orientation of appurtenances.
I am Ra. I leave you, my friends, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.